Okay, you must have stumbled upon this video because it's Python related. You must have an assignment related to this where you have to program a byte adder model or bit adder model. I never figured out which one it is, but yeah, you, you basically have to program Python a full fully constructed adder circuit. Never mind those pop-ups, but if you want my source code, I'll I'll more than be willing to provide it. But you have to contact me through Snapchat or Instagram. I'm gonna give it in the description below just to actually so that you can actually contact me because I don't tend to normally check comment sections on YouTube and contact people through there. Only if people have questions, I tend to respond to it in the comment section. Right here's the model I had to think program. So A and B, lower bit and upper bit. These models take only zeros and ones. So I went with the combination 0010, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, and 11. One, one. The carry from previous column takes the result, takes the output from the next column. So the output from the next column is stored into the previous column once the next iteration takes place. The sum, that's just an output. You don't have to worry too much about that, but from the start of this circuit, the previous column is always assumed to be zero, if some of you are confused about that. Then you have your AND circuits where two trues make it true, but if it's one statement that's true and one statement that's false, it's always false. Same with false, false, or z zero, zero. Zor gates, they're both interesting one, but before we go to ZOR gates, we'll go to OR gates where one statement true or the other makes the whole statement true. So 10 will become 1, 0, 1 becomes 1, 1, 1 becomes 1. Here's, here's just a diagram just to actually summarize what I'm actually explaining. So ZOR gates, both false statements always make a false, but when it comes to one statement being true, it's always true, but both statements being true become a false, which is what ZOR gates are. Then there's negation gates, which I haven't shown in here, which is basically an inverse of the input. So if you have zero, that negation becomes one, and vice versa. Now I'm going to go on to the actual Python programs itself. So this is my my source code. So I actually programmed the, the adder circuit that you just saw a few minutes ago. It now that I think now that I look at it, look at it. Oh my days, it's a mess. But consider this is actually programmed two years ago. So please have some sympathy on my work. Literally. <laughs> so literally, we start off ask. You want to enter one or zero because this is the first circuit. Now I just clocked. I screwed one thing over when it came to this program, but you know what? Oh, never mind. That's the start of the circuit. An so up, upper bit and lower bit. So you can enter. You have to enter two numbers, even as a try and catch. So if it doesn't enter one or zero, it's going to tell you you didn't enter those. But if you do ever acquire the source code, I'll I'll, let you, I'll leave you to do the exploring. So as you can see here, I've actually simulated from top to bottom. It tells me results, what happens, x, y, and z. And I even gave some appropriate naming. So I gave and mark one, mark two, to symbolize that two different gates from two different parts of the diagram that I'm referencing to. Then the second program was an extension task. So like, I had to apparently do five things. So like convert floating point binary numbers, I had to convert denary number into binary, then I had to do like binary, denary, multiplication, subtraction, additions, which never made sense to me, but it was just to get the higher grade, you know? But if you also want this source code, you, you know how to contact me. I'm going to leave my contact details in the description below. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'm just going to, I'm just going to shut up now and just leave you guys to just take a look and explore what I'm actually doing here. I'm using Python 3.7, but any version would, of Python will work this, this script itself as well. So don't you worry about what version you need to actually operate this. Peace out.